We've got the KSW Heavyweight Champion back here on the program. We're going to be taking on Thomas Narkun at KSW 47 on March 23rd. Phil, how are you, man? I'm great, man. Thanks, thanks for having me on the show again. Of course. It's always good talking to you. We can always talk some video games. There's always uh, lots to talk about with you. And I know you were uh, in America recently training at American Top Team. I saw you got back recently. Just right off the bat, how's it, how good does it feel to be back home and see your kids? Oh, great. I mean, uh, the training was second to none, but I was so glad to get back home, you know, so glad, you know, miss the kids, miss the stupid dog and everything, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's always good to get back to the family. I, I can relate, uh, you know, especially I was, I was recently was traveling, so it's good to just be back on home base. Um, but at American Top Team, uh, we'll, we'll start there. Uh, one of your teammates, Junior Dos Santos, got a pretty impressive win uh, this past weekend over Derek Lewis. Uh, you know, seeing him, uh, you know, get a win like that, does that add a little bit more motivation to your fight camp as well? Just, you know, seeing him, a guy that you train with, get a, get a big win like that? Oh, yeah, it's great, you know, and uh, there's a load of good guys at the gym, you know, but uh, J- Junie's a nice fellow as well, you know, it's not what you think of him, you think of him as like some sort of like badass type, say he's badass, but uh, he's like a joker and a, and a nice fella and like a good training partner, you know, so it's great to see him get the win. We'll talk about camp in one sec, but uh, I got to talk about your last fight. It was back in October, KSW 45. You get that key lock over Carl uh, Beddorf. Uh, just how happy were you not only getting another win, but another finish, man, you're on a roll lately. Yeah, I feel great at the minute, like I said, since I beat those anxieties. I and mean, honestly, this camp, like going away to train, I'm so fit. I'm feeling so good, you know, so it's going to be another finish, I think. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, uh, you know, obviously a, a great opponent here in uh, Narcan, who's 16-2. Uh, uh, but one thing I noticed uh, when I was checking out your social media, I know you use CBD oil. Uh, how much does that help with, uh, you know, your anxiety and everything else? Because there's a lot of benefits. I actually take it myself. Oh, do you know what? It's, it's fantastic. Uh I started taking it for, I didn't even know it helped with anxiety. I started uh, taking it to uh, help with um, recovery, so it all helps you recovery. But uh, oh, it's fantastic, you know. I mean, I've got me, me uh, prescription medication for my anxieties and a lot of off-the-shelf supplements. But uh, it's great. It gives you a nice feeling of well-being without the feeling of stones in this, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. You get all the benefits, but you're not, uh, you know, a little loopy after taking it, which is great. Yeah. Um, I, I, I hear for a lot of fighters, it's good for, um, you know, just, you know, after sparring or things like that, you, you don't get the headaches like you usually do. Do you find that it's reduced things like that as well? Because there's anti-inflammatory in there as well. Oh, I, I, I definitely feel better from take. I definitely feel I recover better. I don't know what properties making it to me yourself recover better after the sessions, but it's definitely helping. Okay, and uh, let's talk about Narkin, a sixteen and two record. How do you feel like you match up against him here? Well, I think I'm just, uh, just. I think I'm just better than him, and I'm bigger than him. You know, like uh, he's a tricky, tricky fella, an off the back guard player. It's hard to trade for because nobody does that shit anymore. But the reason nobody does that shit anymore is because it doesn't fucking work against good guys. You know, ZK Velasquez, like, butt scoot towards people pulling guard and shit, you know what I mean? The, the, you, you scramble up and you get a top position, especially against the heavyweight. So I think he's, uh, he's got to be dangerous, but I, I think the way he wins if I make a mistake, mm-hmm. which I won't make a mistake. And if I do, I'll just bloody pile drive him or something because I'm massive. <laughs> okay, yes, exactly. Um, how, how, did, how did you structure the training camp this time? Because you mentioned being an American top team. How long were you there? And, um, you know, how, how are you sort of structuring the rest of camp? Um, well, it, it, those big camps are great to go to. You get great sparring. They're amazing. But what you don't get is a lot of cage time and a lot of one-on-one time because I've saved for the kind of stars, you know, the big names. So before I went, I had my game plan sorted at the fish tank, what I drilled, what I did, what I'm going to do to people. And uh, I, that's what I did when I was over there, you know. And uh, now I'm back. It's just putting the finishing touches on, you know. So it's uh, great. Just, uh, there's a lot of really good jiu-jitsu guys there, and that's what this guy is, like, is off his back jiu-jitsu guy. Okay, that's great. And um, as far as uh, training partners at American Top Team, we talked about Junior Dos Santos. Who are some of the other guys you got to work with? I had Junior there. I had a, a guy called Marcelo Golm, who's in the UFC. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alexi Olenek. Uh, I, had, I managed to get one session with Vitaly Minikoff before he went. Uh, Fernandez Santi Forte, who's fighting on the same night as me. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole massive bunch of good heavyweights. You know, it's, uh, it's good books back here. There's a couple of decent training partners. But then there's a couple of not-so-good ones I go with. So, like, yeah. I'll have, like, rounds off, which, like, when you're tired, you think, ooh, a lovely round off, you know. But, like, yeah, I'm used to going, like, five fives of high opposition now, and I feel great, you know. Okay, that's excellent. And uh, do, you, do you ever see Colby Covington in American Top Team at all, or is it such a big gym you don't interact with them? Oh, I saw them, and I kind of give them a nod, you know, but uh, 
I don't know, the fun is getting too annoyed by people coming over. I'm not much of a fan boy anyway. Yeah. But uh, he said, no, like, yeah, I'll give him a nod, he give me a nod back. I don't, I don't know what he's like personally, though. Okay, no, I was just curious about that. Because a lot of his teammates actually speak very highly of him, which, uh, you know, obviously, uh, sort of the public has a different uh, view on that, but that that's interesting. Um, and then... Well, that, uh, that's what he sells you know? That's what he sells. Same as uh, everyone's getting these personas, you know, but I, I can't do a persona, you know? I'm like... No. no. Oh, oh, he's, you know, be yourself, you know? It's while being raised, you know? So I just be myself. Yeah. Um, no, that that's awesome. Um, and then uh, back home, who who do you get to work with as far as training partners? Uh, my main trainer partner will be uh, James Mulheaven, but he's dropped the light heavyweight, and he had like uh, he just got beat on Bellator. And he was quite injured, so it was quite lucky I went away. And uh, I've got Tony Mustard and stuff, and like uh, a few good big guys, you know. And there's there's a decent jiu jitsu guys here, but like heavyweights are like it's a it's a it's a thin division, you know. You've got to travel to find a good heavyweight, you know. So that's why I went the top team. Now, being a North American guy myself out here in Canada, uh, how far away is the flight from Poland to, to where you live in the UK? Uh, oh, how long is it? Yeah, yeah. How, how long is the flight? Eight hours. Eight, eight hours. Then there's a little layover, then a few hours. I said the jet lag coming back worse, though. I thought uh, I, I thought it would be worse going there, but like I'm knackered at the moment. Now I'm glad I came back early. I just, like, so it's nice to recharge, and, like to see the family and relax and just forget about the fighting for a bit because it's, by the end of that camp, I was like, oh, God almighty, I was hating the session. <laughs> right, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, I've got Andrew Fisher and uh, James Mulheaven. Uh, Fisher's my coach from home, and uh, James has just been a long-time training partner. Uh, I was think I was I'll consider bringing some of some top team, but like you said, like these guys make a game plan specific to me. They, they dedicate time to me. Fish has been with us for years now. He, he helped turn my career around, so you know he's gonna always going to be the main guy in my corner. Okay, and uh, we're going to see another finish in this fight. That seems to be your thing. Uh, you haven't gone the distance since October of 2017. Yeah, I feel I feel good. You know, uh, like like that's what I say. You, you go for the finish. If you get really tired, you get really tired later. Because if you, if you don't go for the finish, he might be going for the finish, and he might be like, if you get knocked out, it doesn't matter if you've got loads of energy left or submitted. You know, so you're best off expending the energy at the risk of being really tired later. And uh I feel great, like I said, uh, having these fantastic bodies to train with the top team has uh, turned me like uh, into an animal, you know. And when I, I'm about to ask this next question, I, I don't mean that you're going to look past this fight because I know obviously you're zoned in on this. You had a great camp and everything else. But what is next for you after this in terms of opponents? Because they're running out of guys to put in your way. I keep finishing everyone. Uh, I mean, uh, Ishii's fighting Fernando Santa Forte. And Ishii's beat me before. Oh, I, right. I was quite okay. like... That that guy is like the nicest guy in the whole world, though. He like took me out for dinner and shit. You know, he's like, <laughs> he just, I would never like to call him out because he's like literally. He sends us happy birthday messages even five years later, you know. But I think if he wins that night and I win, that that'll be the match to make. But Fernando's a great fighter. He might finish issue, you know. Yeah. And uh, like, you know, the dark one could win the lot, you know, and I lose, you know. But I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Um, what was that dinner like that he took you out with? Where, where did you guys go? What did you remember that whole experience? Oh my God, it was amazing. He took us uh, to like a, a traditional Japanese restaurant, really posh. He's, I think he's like quite a celebrity out there. I think he gets like quite looked after. So he took us there. Then he took us out to some fancy wine bar where like they had like palmo hams and the thing. Oh, so put like uh, I was a bit common for the place really. Uh, took had loads of drinks, you know. Didn't let him put me pan in my pocket all night. Ah, oh, he's a fantastic guy. He's a lovely guy. But, uh, you know, I, like, I punch me good friends all the time in the gym, you know, so I wouldn't mind fighting them again. How many more fights are left on your contract? Two. Two. So, uh, should be up this year. But I'm be- I, I, I'm a, I'll am go where the cash is, though, because I've yeah. got a family and stuff. You know? But KFW pay well, and they've been very good to us. It would have to be a good offer for me to leave, you know? Yeah, no, no, I, I hear you on that. I, I mean, because I was going to ask, I mean, this run, uh, if you keep this up, I mean, you're going to be a highly sought free agent. Um, you know, I'm sure KSW would show you the cash, but do you think there's ever a chance we would see you back in the UFC? Because they could use some heavyweights right now. You know, because I, I, I'm doing a lot of rounds of UFC standard heavyweights over there, and I was performing extremely well. I know I, I fucked it up the first time. I, I know I've got a good run on it. I, I could fight for that title. I could take that title, and I know I could. But, you know, like it's risky, you know, but I think I would like one more run of it, you know, I do, I do, but God, we've got to see what the, what the family thinks and what, what the cash is like, but if you want loads of cash, the UFC is where you got to get the loads and loads of cash, isn't it? Right. But we'll, we'll see. But like, like I said, we'll, 
I, I, I'm a heavyweight. I'll last till I'm 40, so it doesn't have to be just yet, you know? Yeah, no, I hear you on that. Uh, before we before I let you go, uh, what's on the deck for video games? You're getting into much time. I don't know if you played any when you were out in uh, the States. Oh, well, uh, I bought my emulator, but I didn't bring my pad thing. It was okay. a nightmare. So, But I, I bought a Nintendo Switch. I played, what did I play? I had Dead Cells. Then I did Groove War. Then I did uh, the new Zelda, what's it called? Breath of the Wind or Breath of the Wild. And it was fantastic. I must have done uh, 70, 80 hours on it. But it was like... Uh, the, the, all, all the guys there are fantastic, but they're all Brazilian and Russian, you know. Like it was like I wasn't, I wasn't really knocking about with anybody. I just kind of played Zelda for like five weeks yeah, solid. Right, yeah, I, it's probably a I, safer I move. I yeah, bear, yeah, I couldn't bear the sight of any more Zelda at the moment, you know. But I did, I did the expansions. It was, it was a great game. Good stuff, man. Well, we're looking forward to this card. Another stacked event coming up here, March twenty third. It is KSW forty seven. Phil, I always appreciate you taking the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. Uh, uh, my, all my uh, handles over social media are filled with free time of me. Uh, you can watch me on KSW TV, and I've got my own slash reseller thing. I'd like to thank Pitbull Sports, uh, Fitness 2000, Premier Nutrition, uh, TFT, and uh, the Happy Hemco. And uh, just thanks for having us, mate. You know, it's been a good, really good show. Thanks.